This is how to install your Yakima Fullback bike rack. The Fullback unpacks ready to go, but before you jump the gun, you need to go to fitlookup.yakima.com to find your vehicle's hub setting and fit notes. Write them down here. All right, let's roll. Wipe things clean. Now, grab your rack and rotate the center dial to unlock the hubs. Set your hubs according to your vehicle's fit requirements. Twist back the center dial to lock everything in place. Make sure it aligns and make sure it's locked. Absolutely sure. If you want, this is the time to add your security straps. This helps deter theft by anchoring the rack inside your trunk. Just loop it, bring it through, and done. Back to the rack. Position it. Your lower frame's contact point is the big deal here. Generally, the strongest place to put it is towards the bottom edge of your trunk or hatch. Top contact point is determined by your vehicle shape, fit instructions, and location of the bottom contact. A good fit looks like this, not this. Brace the rack and attach the top hooks to the top of the trunk or tailgate, making sure they're parallel. If your fit notes say you need anchors for your top hooks, go check your printed instructions and see how to use them. It's simple. Now attach your bottom hooks to the bottom of the hatch or trunk lid. Now fully tighten the top and bottom straps. Excess strappage can be tucked away under the rubber loops. Raise the arms by rotating the dials and swinging the arms upward. Make sure they are parallel and tilted at a slight upward angle. This is important. An upward angle helps keep the bike on the rack. Use the dials to lock things up so you can load your bikes. First bike always loads with the chain facing away from the vehicle. If your bike has a quirky frame geometry, you may need our tube top. It connects to the seat post and stem to create a faux top tube that'll secure your bike. Loading a single bike, use the innermost cradle. Rotate the anti-sway cradle against the seat tube. Zip in the zip strips. Strap it. Secure it. And lock it. Locking the outer bike secures the inner bike. Oh, always check strap tension before you go. The rack should stay and the car should sway. You're all done. Cheers. Unloading is easy. Undo everything. And lift. Leaving the rack on for a while? Fold down the arms for easier parallel parking. Don't need it for a while? Loosen and unhook, fold it up, and tuck it away. That's it. Now remember, this was just a video overview. These are your instructions. Read them. They are your guide. If you don't have a printed copy, you can find a PDF on yakima.com.